Hi guys. I'm gonna try and get through this without crying. I'm trying to like go through my day today, like not crying. <laughs> today is the one year unofficial that anniversary of my mom's passing. She died on Memorial Day last year. Her actual anniversary is tomorrow, just date wise. But I think I'm always going to do this type of thing, have these thoughts on Memorial Day because it was such a, having it be on a holiday um, makes it just like this weird Groundhog's Day effect if you if, I don't I don't know how to describe how awkward and uncomfortable and weird it feels today um, and I don't want to like I can't even like see okay <laughs> so bright it's overcast and 55 degrees that's not exactly the day for um, par barbecues at the at the park but it's a weird day and I don't want to go into my day being all melancholy and oh everyone be well with me um and I also need to like um kind of wrap my head around this fact that this is going to happen every year on Memorial Day and it's going to be a continuous Groundhog Day effect and I am one that loves tradition I love that we have been going to this barbecue on Memorial Day for I don't even know how long is maybe 16 years I mean a long time at the same park mostly same people and um, it's for church and I am one for tradition and so it's hard for me to just not go because this barbecue is kind of a trigger for me uh, the start of the events of my mom being sick it's where I kind of found out that my mom was sick and in the hospital and then on a ventilator and then I kind of left the park thinking everything was going to be fine and then it just wasn't. It was a 12 hour process starting when I went to this barbecue last year. And then by the time we got to the end of the day, she was gone. And so it's a weird, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I love tradition. I love family and, and friends and barbecues and, but like, I don't want to be like hold up on the couch sad either and my mom wouldn't want that either and there's a car pulling in front of me and he's gonna think I'm so strange with the camera sitting on my dash I don't care anymore um so it's a strange feeling to go in today and I have some hard feelings from people last year who just were not empathetic of my situation in those moments of hardship that I'm having a hard time had a hard time all year long dealing with those people um and so again today it's like another trigger of those hard feelings and I'm trying to like work through those things as well and my family all had a, a, a barbecue picnic type thing um, a couple days ago um, just because it was scheduling wise easier for them to do it then um, but then they went to my mom's grave and I wish I could show a photo um, of them at the grave um, I will insert a picture of just the grave itself but I can't show all of my family members here on uh, my channel um, I don't have permission to do so and two of my sisters offered to fly me down uh, for that barbecue and, and family time at my mom's grave and it's not my place I was here when it happened and I was sad that I was here and I couldn't make it in time but it's not my place to be there either and so and they weren't sad about me come not coming I mean they were but like they understood that I have this weird disconnect being there I don't know if any of this makes sense and maybe it doesn't and maybe it doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense that's where I'm at today I'm at this weird place where I'm going into a situation and, and events where only a few people will remember what happened today last year and a few of those people are right there with me I filmed um, on Saturday <laughs> and two days ago today's monday obviously and all of that footage is corrupt i completely lost that entire day and it wasn't anything fantastic i went to costco and i got this super fabulous pickle dip and it's so amazing and i'm gonna go get more of it tomorrow because it, it's already gone um but the, we ended the day um having game night again with our friends and we're gonna go and hang out with most of them at another barbecue this afternoon um and they gave me flowers i'll show you when i get home because they know how hard this weekend is for me so i'm trying to wrap myself around and surround myself with people who get it who understand and don't have to have me explain how i'm feeling you know they can just say is it a good day is it a bad day Are you, is it a good moment is it a bad moment and i don't have to answer if i don't want to i look in my eyes and they're gonna know oh i just did my makeup <laughs> to go to all these barbecues i gotta stop crying I told you i wasn't gonna go be crying it's also really strange, and I know this is a really long intro, but I have to get my thought out, my thoughts out now. I started doing the exact same things I started doing last year. I went to make an appointment for Chelsea to get her hair cut, 
and I got two of my girls their haircut last year and I'm thinking of the video that I made of that day last year. I'm getting my kids their haircuts and going to this barbecue and it's so strange to automatically do the same things all over again the next year and I didn't want that to be a part of the memory today so I said no, I'm not doing haircuts today. I can't have the exact repeat scenarios all over again. So we're not getting haircuts today. We're just gonna go do these two barbecues and I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna force myself into anything that I suddenly don't feel comfortable in. I can give Jason a look and I can, and he'll know we need to go home. That being said, I'm at the grocery store. <laughs> um, I need to get a few things for these two barbecues and, um, and I'm too hot in here. So let's just start our day. Love your loved ones, give them hugs. Um, my video going up today is take the time because you just don't know. And maybe I'll share another story of how thankful I am for the year, the two years of the pandemic that I had with my mom. And that sounds strange because we all know we were all in quarantine. So how did I have two years with my mom? I'll share that story with you later. Well, when you're busy having fun, you get through your entire day and realize you didn't pick up the camera again. So, yeah. I only shot them oh at the other park once. Oh, yeah. They weren't really doing any games or activities for the kids, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so we kind of left there, ditched out on that, came to our friend's house, and have had a great time. Us adults needed time, and the kids got to have time playing. You they started built a fire, taught the boys two fires, to right? Got the boys how to start a fire. Yep, and then us adults ate dinner and then um, played skulking together. It was quite fun. Ooh, what I needed today. You guys had a good time? Mm -hmm. Tired? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Seven o'clock, 7.30 on a school night now. No longer a holiday. And home. No longer holidays. <laughs> yeah, the holiday is over. And uh, we're gonna head on home. <laughs> Ashley, what did you just ask? Yeah, we were. Because I don't like any of the food there. <laughs> you like strawberries? Well, think about it. We're a little ways away from food. Ashley, you know you have your onesie on backward, right? Oh. <laughs> and you just put it on to put it on? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> we're literally two minutes away from their house. And she's like, can we get something to eat? Chelsea being a little twit back here with her chips. She's not sharing them, but she's just <laughs> crunching away. <laughs> she's laughing. Like I know. Crazy. She's not sharing. Mm -mm. She's just being my annoying chips. with it. My barbecue chips. Your barbecue chips. Yeah, we had great food. They had hamburgers and hot dogs and oh. tons of veggies, tons okay, of fruit. We had a, a fresh pineapple and peppers and what else did I bring? I didn't even remember to open up a can of olives. Sorry, Chels. Oh, it's fine. I didn't. You can even have remember. that at home. And then we had like four different kinds, four or five different kinds of salads. I think we had two green salads and two pasta salads. And there was one other one. I can't remember what it was though. So a lot of food choices, just not ones she wanted. So um, we'll see. We'll see if we stop and get her something to eat. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can back at home um, since all the footage was um, corrupt from the video I did two days ago I didn't get a chance to show you my flowers that my friend gave me so I just wanted to show those to you now these are the most beautiful flowers ever and what's really cool is that my mom's favorite flower are these lilies and my favorite flowers are the peonies so there's one peony there and there's another one right there that's just opening up. Can you see that? So pretty. I don't know. She did a really good job. Um, my friend really knows me and she has been checking in with me all day today. All day. She's like, how are you doing? You're going to your first function. How are you feeling? And then while I'm there, hey, how's it going? You know, and then after I've left, she's like, okay, tell me how it went. What do you need? How can I help? <laughs> 
She's just really been there for me. She felt bad that she had other plans today, which was fine. It's not like everyone has to put their life on hold. But she was very sweet to take time and thought out of her day to remember me and the hard day. And it ended great. It ended with fantastic friends who we didn't even need to talk about that part of my day. They just made me laugh and forget all about it. And honestly, that's what I wanted the most, is just to kind of have a good day. And my mom would want me to remember and have, remember her by having fun. So while I miss that I didn't get a chance to go home and be with my family during their memorial celebration of my mom this weekend, I got to do it in a new way for myself. And I can see us making new traditions in the years following of us friends being able to get together. We're a pretty tight knit group and the kids are, half of our kids are teenagers and the other half are younger, like Ashley and Chelsea's age. So it's like this perfect combo of kids. And so we're constantly able to get together because everyone has someone to hang out with, which is amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. So um, I think that might do it with us tonight. I don't know what Kaylee and Abby are doing. They've been home all day. I think Kaylee had her friends come over. Um, Ashley is here, but she's gonna go get ready for bed. Chelsea's already in the shower. And, oh, Ashley, do you wanna show them your little diamond art that you got? She got a new diamond art kit, and this is, is this Stitch? Yeah, Stitch from So cute. So she's been prepping that. She did a little bit this morning, right? A little bit of those green ones this morning. It's really hard. It's really hard. You have to kind of work your way through it, right? Um, next time we're going to do like the R. Because there's like... Yeah, but do all the green first. Yeah, when I'm done with the green. I'm yeah, finish all the green. Don't peel off anymore until you finish the green. So they've got few of the trays lined up for the bees colors that they've got. The problem is I don't have any more of these that are empty. These are little cases. Well, we can just get rid of this. I just don't know that we're missing all the pieces for that. Well, she has one. Where is it? Where is this one? Oh, it's right here. So it's missing one color. No, it's missing like three. Well, it still can get finished. 17, 20, and 1, and 13. 13. Yeah, so she kind of got frustrated with this one and so couldn't sweet. finish it. Well, yeah, so she started hers doing it by color and not by section. And so then it was kind of too late. She had peeled off so much of it that it kind of made it hard to do the rest of it. And she is learning. Sorry, I have the <laughs> burps. <laughs> Anyway, she's kind of learning technique on how to do it and, and have patience to do it. It takes a lot of patience, yes? I'm the only one that has the most patience with them. Yes, but you lost your patience with that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, my tongue is still, I keep biting on it and my cheek and it's really sore. I'm actually hoping my crown comes in soon because I'm kind of getting sick of, there's a little ledge on my temporary that's rubbing on my inside of my oh, cheek okay. we'll and I need to get my new retainer made after I'm finally done with all of my crowns. Then this kind of was like, yes, I think you're done for a couple years. Just keep your teeth better. We won't have to do any more crowns, which means I can go ahead and have my, have my retainer redone because now I will have like four or five crowns that have made my, my bite different than the previous retainer. You had a good day? No, it was really good. Whoa. It was good. That's really red light. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if that's red on I didn't camera. Do my exercise because it was kind of. It cold was really rainy. cold and rainy this yeah, morning. I don't know if it was going to rain or what. But, um, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's done. Good. Okay. Batteries. Check. All right. We're going to sign off with you guys and we will see you guys later. Sorry for the short video if it was short and more just talking, but I kind of needed to just go through my day today and not worry about picking up the camera. I needed to just go with the flow. So I hope you appreciate um, whatever we were able to capture and just know that I needed to kind of put my focus on myself and my mom and my friends today. So take care and we'll see you guys next time.